Hello people. I decided to share with you, uh, it was kind of a mistake and I'm not one for wasting any food. So I decided to kind of do an experiment. Uh, my boys really like the Hawaiian style dinner rolls. It's a very sweet dinner roll and um, it's made with potatoes and milk and large quantities of sugar. And uh, my fingers have been calibrated over the years to test milk and water for making doughs uh, so I don't have to constantly get out a thermometer and uh, test the temperatures and so I don't kill my yeast. I activate it but I don't kill it. Well, I was in a bit of a rush and I knew that the milk was kind of on the warm side and I had killed the yeast. So the rolls didn't uh, get nice and fluffy like they normally did and nobody was really enjoying them. But I make everything in huge batches and put it in the freezer. So the one day I had decided uh, some potatoes were growing and so I decided that I was going to um, boil them and do a potato pie experiment. Now where I grew up uh, you could actually go to some pizza parlors and order a potato pie that's called Pogosh. And, you know, I never really did any investigating on, you know, if Pogosh is Polish or Russian or Czech or, or whatever. But um, it's a very delicious, uh, like a stuffed pizza that has dough on the bottom and top and it's, uh, it's stuffed with the potato. Now, in my frugality of trying to cut back on utilities and everything else, I found that the little gold potatoes actually cook up the quickest. So these guys were starting to, they sprout very, very quickly when you buy them at the health food store. And uh, so that was just a few days ago. They were purchased and they're all, they were already starting to get their little eyes sprouting. So, I took out the remainder of the Hawaiian dinner rolls, and you could see I, oh, a fruit fly. I spread one out and uh, bunched them all up. They were just little dough balls, and um, so then I spread it out and covered the bottom of a pie dish. Now it's just a little bit of salt, and some pepper and of course this is all to taste you know depending on on how you like things and I'm glad I did this beforehand because I actually cried and this is a uh, half of onion grated and uh, grating onions is, is not a lot of fun I'm not gonna put the ah, what the heck I'll go ahead and put all the juice in there so so it's pretty much cube your potatoes, boil them like you would do mashed potatoes, salt and pepper, and onion, and then I mix that. I should get a spoon to mix it, but I like the skin. I like uh, to eat as much of the um, fruits and vegetables as I can. I'm going to do a little uh, video on that too. I'm going to call it eat the whole thing. <laughs> there are some things that uh, most people would never consider eating, but I do. And so I like potato skin. I like them when they're baked and don't mind them in my mashed potatoes at all. So, that's it. Just some potatoes in there. And I did wash my hands earlier, so we're clean. And smash that down. And then I just, uh, the last time I made this, we had some uh, pepper jack cheese. And boy, was that tasty, because uh, I really enjoy 
a bit of uh, spice. So there, some cheese in that pie. Put that in. I'll eat this one. I did a trade when I got this little, it's got the double racks in there, which I really like because I'm always making um, personal sized pizzas for the boys. And so I like to have, to be able to cook two at a time. So I didn't even have to buy that. I did a trade. And I especially like that in the summertime. Uh, I cooked, I had a screened in porch at my last place. And I would do a lot of my cooking outside as not to uh, heat up the interior of the house because I didn't have, you know, money to be running the air conditioning. So you could flatten it with a rolling pin or, you know, do like you were going to do a pizza crust and stretch your dough out like this. And it's going to be... Um, It'll puff up just a wee bit, but not like as if it was the yeast was really active. And then, boom, right over the top and pinch it down with the other one. You know, you could get all crazy. A lot of people like to go nuts with the um, with pie crust and make it look all pretty. And I did that at one time. You know, I used to be fanatical about the way things looked. And now I'm just, uh, time is just very, very limited. So it's all about, you know, if it tastes good, that's good enough for me. It doesn't have to be that pretty. And then, like a regular pie, pot pie, apple pie, I like to make little holes in it. So the crust could expand. Boom, boom, boom. Got a little starburst and pop it in the oven. Pa gosh, potato pie. So my dough didn't go to waste. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Poor people cooking. One day I'm gonna do a risotto too. I think it's funny that when I went to school as a girl, my mom would make me stuff like polenta and risotto, and it was really just Italian peasant food. And then it became all trendy, and uh, the gourmet restaurants would be charging an astronomical amount of money for a plate of peasant food. So there you have it. Poor people eating. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.